Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And tonight, we definitely have the newest Atari games. Yes! We have <laughs> the exclusive world premiere of Kicks from Champ Games. Mm -hmm. Very excited about this. Another amazing, astounding game from John Champo. Mm -hmm. One that said couldn't be done, but it is now done. <laughs> it has been accomplished. Mm -hmm. Uh, so welcome to the show. We're also going to be playing uh, 1942 That's also as exciting. Well. That's a One fun game. One of my game. favorite games. Yeah. Uh, vertical scrolling shooter, yeah. plane shooter. You love the shooters. And, yep, and I know you. whenever we find an arcade with... A, a, which yep. is the one? The one in Oregon? Uh, uh, yep. Whose name escapes me right now. Somebody but will know in the chat. The big yeah. one. Um, they have... 1942 i remember playing it when we were down yeah, there yeah. lots of fun that was a different one that was 1943 oh I was it believe. okay yeah, not 42 is, yeah similar but though. still very it, similar it's yeah it's just more expanded gotcha um and in after dark we will be playing sadoom plus nice. and trying to get our patch finally for kaboom <laughs> sadoom plus will hopefully um punish us enough to uh practice on uh kaboom Oh, cats are fighting. Bad cats. Don't do that. Um, so, uh, I want to thank all the subscribers, Twitch subscribers, for uh, supporting us. Uh, Al Nefer, Armscar, Coder, Atari Age, Buck Owens, Car Charles and Chuck, Charles Wheel and Chive 5, Crossbow Dianoid, Drexel, Dr. Moo Cows, Great Offended Gretums, Ground Trooper, Joe Rapper, Johnny WC, One Year Carl G, Kev Kelly, Croco, Mark Spacek, Mike Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Latow, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Zarna, Wood, Mr. Fix, Neo Media, Packrat VG, Coog 2600, RC70, Rendered Ghost, Repentless VG, Ret Retro Salaryman, Ricardo Pim, Smitty B, Socrates, Spiceware, S. Ramirez, the D Train, the Lost Cartridge, The Welshman 89, Tiki Dan K, Trek MD, VHZC, X Kenex, and Zeb Chi. And I want to thank all the people watching and tuning in and sharing. Who just resubscribed? <clears throat> Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, the uh, pumpkins are still in the cat cam <laughs> from leftover oh, from yeah. last episode. <laughs> Didn't forgot have about time. those. Yeah, Didn't yeah. Have time. They'll go away. You got you time. got all the uh, cobwebs down. That yeah, good. yeah. Uh, those were just dust. Dust <laughs> accumulated over the year. Yeah, it's true. We did clean on the weekends. Um, S. Ramirez, oh, oh, Spiceware, oh, Vitoko. So Thank you for chatting, Miss Command. Phaser Cat Games, Nathan Strom, S. Ramirez, Crossbow, Pac-Man, Plus, Atari Age, who's Bob, mm -hmm. uh, uh, or Blob as he uh, signs his uh, uh, emails at work mm -hmm. accidentally sometimes. Blob. Blob. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> uh, Atari Rules, <laughs> Pack Rap VG, Nostalgic, Dan AVC, Phaser Cat Games, Spiceware. Uh, oh, Atari Rules chatted for the first time today. That's awesome. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, Rod Kessler. Um, lots of names. Else? Lots of names in there. Lots of names. I get the feeling that some people are a little bit excited about this game. might be. Carl G. I I'm am. pretty excited too. <laughs> Me too. Nostalgic. <clears throat> uh, and other people. Uh, let's go down to the bottom. Yep. Um, it's kind of hard to beat Vectro Pilot on the Vectrex, though. Hands mm -hmm. down, my favorite port of the game. I did order that, mm -hmm. so it's coming. Um, so, um, mail news and feedback. Uh, oh, that's actually the wrong list. Or is it the right list? What is going on? Was I in the wrong one? Uh, might have been on the right one, wrong one, but uh, the, the for wrong. the names... Oh. They wouldn't have changed much, but yeah. yeah. Sorry if I missed yours. Yeah. Um, movie cart. I'll get to the news. Actually, mm -hmm. let's unbox right now. Uh, we'll get to kicks very shortly. Uh, we've got some things to take care of, Hooray. like opening packages yeah. full of video games, Yay. which is always very exciting. Always fun. There's nothing like getting that box and like, hmm, what was it that I ordered? Yeah. yeah. I actually don't know. It says something about Vectrex on it. Oh. So that's exciting. That is exciting. the edge here. How do, you, how do you open this up? Do you open it by the end? Probably by the ends. Oh, or does it come paper. from the bottom? Wait, wait, wait. No, I found no? it. I found it. Oh. It's covered ah, by the... Ah, that makes sense. It's covered by the address. Yes, yes, yes. Um, it's too early for some Vectrex things I ordered, so I'm not... I can't quite remember what this is. Cap and Vexies is kind of a pain. Oh, mm. I hope I never have to do that. Yeah. Oh. Says number three, mm. zero zero three. 
Am I an early orderer of whatever <laughs> this is? Um, you could be. You could be. Game Ons from Play Vectrex. Maybe somebody can guess what it is before I do. Um, okay, tiny little thing. Is it a game? Mm. Is it a thing? It looks like a board or something. I don't know. Joystick adapter? Maybe. Oh, maybe. Yes. That's a good I call. I think you Ooh. might be correct about that. Pack Rat called it before anyone else. <laughs> Very it. nice Vectrex oh. uh, magnet. It was wow, a magnet. that's going on the fridge. Um, we have nothing metal. Oh, no. <laughs> no. No. Nowhere. No. Nowhere. Glasses. No. Oh yes, I know what this is. <laughs> it's yes, all coming back to him now. The Vector Link, which allows you to connect up a lot of stuff. Oh, okay. Um, it not only has Bluetooth. Okay. Um. It also has the connector for uh, connecting up um, switch. No, not switch. Wii controllers. Oh, so okay. So that you can use an analog Wii controller on the Vectrex because... Really? Yeah. Yeah. So let's wow. take a look. That's... Wireless as well. Wow. Yeah. Oh, so Wii controllers. A ton of stuff in here, oh. if I remember correctly. Uh, quantity 1, Vectrex. Vector link adapter, uh, Bluetooth dongle, 8 bit dough uh, retro receiver, which I have some 8 bit dough controllers already, mm -hmm. and a USB micro cable. Um, some Very stickers. cute. Stickers, yeah. Um, oh, so tiny, actually. <laughs> yeah. So let's take a look at this under the cat cam. So you guys can see it. And the cats. And the cats. And the, pump <laughs> and the pumpkins. Aww. So. Yeah. There it is, vector link, wireless adapter. There's a variety of controllers you can see that they mm -hmm. are uh, touting. There is the vector link that you plug in. Uh, no, this is this is the end. So this goes into your Vectrex. Yeah. Number three, that's a pretty good number. Um, so that goes into the Vectrex right there, and then this is the Bluetooth um, adapter, which you can also just plug in a Wii controller right into the end of that. A Wii controller? Yeah, so nice. it, you can plug in lots of different Bluetooth uh, controllers. Nice. Um, so that's mm. really great. for the, That is really cool. The, for actually, I got it so we can use it here. Yeah, so it's couch when compliant. We, when we, yeah, it's couch <laughs> compliant. We'll yes. get to that. Um, blink, blink, blink. So that when we do the Vectrex gaming day, we can play it and not have this wire yeah. hooked up. Yeah. Nice. I like that. And still have analog That's controls. That's very cool. Yes. Very nice. Yeah. There's a... There, and it's treat see. time. Yum, 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 ah, yum. Is it treat good. time already? Good time to good do it. Good call. Well, I have to show some stuff. Oh. Um, but, uh, we'll start with this and then you can show okay. stuff. Okay. Um, okay. Hmm. Hmm. No, hmm. no, no. Yep, yep, quickly. All right. Just a couple, just a couple. Okay. Um, there is, uh, not that many. Okay, feed them. Quick, quick. <laughs> um, Rob Barrios, Barrows, um, the person who did, made the movie cart. Yeah. Um, you know, the Star Wars movie cart. Oh, yes. Up there. Yeah. He's going to be giving a talk um, at, uh, he says, hi, everyone. I'll be doing a live broadcast through work, covering some of my art projects over the years, including covering the movie cart encoding process in more detail, if anyone's interested. Um, apologies in advance if I flub some of the 2600 specs. It's on Friday, November 5th, so this Friday, at 4 p.m. Eastern. Uh, let me just get up the page for that, mm -hmm. so uh, people can see bit more about that said ph should get an extra cat you think we need three oh, <laughs> cafe no, man oh no oh no. yes cute kitty good kitties. more kitties that i don't know good. about that that was good treat i don't time. think we need more kitties oh we could always use more kitties <laughs> stars of the show yes yes yeah, so there you yeah. go there's our barrios uh post in the atari age forums um and you can find the link there uh, and here it is. We are back. Join us this Friday, November 5th, mm -hmm. for the 16th episode of In Session with our very special guest, Rob Barrows. Longtime lover of odd visual gadgetry and founding member of Derivative, Rob's projects often explore visual imagery in unexpected mediums. Mm -hmm. That uh, very aptly describes mm -hmm. watching Star Wars on an Atari 2600. Absolutely, yeah. 
and there's been huge advancements in his uh, encoding and really? display. From Star Wars. Oh my God, it looks like 10 times better now. Wow. It's really, really, really good. Wow. It's sad uh, some people help, help him out there. Wow. Um, so go check out the thread of the movie cart for that. We've covered it a bit here and there. Mm. Um, do, do, do. So yeah, check that out. Here's the link. I'm going to post it so you guys can, because it's you can watch it over the internet this Friday. Um, uh, there was an Ivory Tower collection video posted recently. Um, and I'm going to get that up on the screen. And it was showing off how to do the install of the Atari 7800 BIOS chip mm -hmm. that was just recently made and is in the process of being released. He says, for those who might be interested in installing one of these new BIOS chips, once they're more readily available, I finally released my installation video over it on this, on this past weekend. I've been sitting on this for two months, but I figured there wasn't a point in waiting to release this video since eventually this kit will be released. And he goes through a 27 minute video, goes through the installation of it, um, and then he demos Kiloparsec nice. on it, um, which mm -hmm. we played on the show, which yes, is uh, Pac-Man yeah. Plus's uh, Bob DeCrescenzo's nice. uh, game. Yep. So you can check out his installation here. Very, very thorough. Here he is with a toothbrush. <laughs> Scrub that board. Brushing all the gunk off. <laughs> uh, yeah, very detailed. Shows you exactly how to install it. Mm. So I don't know exactly when those will be available. He does have some. Um, I don't. He's in the chat, so he can uh, he can talk about that mm -hmm. right now. Uh, whether they are available through him right now or you have to wait a bit. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. um, let's see what else. Oh. Miss Command had a question. Do the yes. 2600 controllers work on a Vectrex? Um, there is an excellent YouTube channel. Yeah. And all he does is hook up controllers to consoles. Oh, really? <laughs> That's his old channel. Mm. Um, we saw him interview Ed Ladin the other day. Oh, yes. At yeah. CORGS. <clears throat> yes. Um, I can't remember the name of the channel off the top of my head, but... If it's possible, he has he, done he's it. He's tried it. Okay. He knows how to hook up everything to everything. Mm -hmm. there, he probably has a way to hook up 2600 controllers. You'd obviously only get digital control mm. and you'd only have one button. So it would be limited to three. certain games. Yeah. That because makes some Vectrex games only use one button. Yeah. Yeah. With not without an adapter. Yeah. Yeah. The same, con the, the same connector yeah. is on the Vectrex. Uh, the nine pin, so it but the pins are insert, different, but it and it's work. expecting different things. Oh, I see. So okay. yeah. Um, hmm. Okay, so Crossbow says I have some of the kits on hand right now, and permission from Bob and Revenge to sell them, but I should state that this is with me installing them. Mm. So you would uh, need to ship your board, yeah, um, uh, to Crossbow for him to install it for okay. you. So there's no there's no package for sale yet. Okay, um, that he'll that ship sense. to you. Yeah, neat. Um, yeah, very, very cool. Um, and uh, it has a lot of bonuses. It plays PAL games. It has a new um, intro screen and it has Kill Parsec the game built into it as well. Uh, yeah, the Vectrex port is also a different shape as well. You have to shave it down. Um, oh, really? Yeah, it's, it's slightly smaller. So if you wanted to, I believe, install... Uh, an, adapter an adapter or something? An adapter to it. It needs to be a little slightly oh, bit isn't different. That fun? Wired Up Retro! RC70 Yay, wins. RC70. 10 internet points for that. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, uh, I don't know how many you have now or where you can redeem them, but uh, they are redeemable somewhere. So, uh, speaking of couch compliance, uh, Kev Kelly started a thread mm -hmm. about. Uh, the look of the logo for Couch Compliant. So if you wanted to state that your game can be played without getting up after you turn <laughs> it on on the 2600. Nice. And everything is controlled. All the menu options are controlled through the joystick. <laughs> you can compliance. now have a Couch Compliant uh, nice. logo. So like he it. started with this one. Yeah. And, and he asked, uh, what, what do you think? Who wants couch Suggestions, compliance? things like that. <laughs> I made one yeah. um, myself. 
Yeah. And I put the words couch compliant so people knew what it was. Put yeah. some joysticks. Um, and then Vitoco nice. made a suggestion. Jumped in. And use the couch as the backing for the couch. Yeah. And put compliant underneath. So just, it's, it's evolving. Yeah. yeah. Just be careful. You don't misspell compliant and it's couch complaint. Because couch complaints. Because I can see, I can see I that. I have some couch complaints. I have couch complaints. That's a whole <laughs> other segment of... of yeah. Of um, and then Thomas, history, and yeah. then Thomas Yench uh, made it uh, aspect correct for the twenty six hundred. Yes. So that you can actually put it on your game mm -hmm. as a title screen it goes blink couch compliant mm -hmm. and under the title. Uh, so there it is. Yeah. Uh, everybody is pretty cool with that one. Yeah. <laughs> I like it because the couch makes up the back of the couch. Yeah. Has the words in it. Has a couch in it. Yeah. Oh, and John Champo has joined the chat. Hey, John. Welcome. Mm -hmm, just um, time. So there you are. If you wanted to put couch compliant <laughs> on on your uh, in your game or on the box or nice. on the manual. I like that on the uh, box. You know how how you know so many branding agencies for food have like this oh. is heart healthy and this is this yeah, and this their yeah. own logos yeah, yeah they just have a string of like little, little well, there's logos like, there's couch compliant there's couch compliant there's the quad tari quad there's tari. atari vox That's it's right. gonna be a whole string just a of whole them. string of little icons at the bottom of uh, oh, on the bottom yeah of we're all box. done playing kicks it, yes. it was great it's it's over yeah we're we're signing <laughs> off no we haven't started yet we're just yeah. done just done the news right now uh, even though the kicks is on the screen um, so it is time to get to it. Uh, this is Kicks. This is the world exclusive world premiere of Kicks. Uh, they said it couldn't be done, but that is a challenge to John <laughs> because he knows tricks that uh, he can uh, squeeze out of the 2600. Um, so this was sent to me uh, a couple days ago, and but we're gonna take a little. Uh, look at what kicks is uh starting with the arcade so we know where it uh comes from so here we go let me just fast forward a little bit to the gameplay itself oh don't rile them up don't i am riling them up okay let's see <laughs> scratch the couch get off stop it is this gameplay yet here we go Um, so, for Wikipedia, uh, Kix is a 1981 puzzle game developed by husband and wife team Randy and Sandy. Oh my goodness. Pfeiffer. <laughs> Randy and Sandy. I like that. Mm. And published in arcade by Taito America. Kix is one of a handful of games made by Taito American Division. At the start of each level, the playing field is a large, empty rectangle containing the Kix, a stick-like entity that performs graceful but unpredictable motions within the confines of the rectangle. Uh, the objective is to draw lines that close off parts of the rectangle to fill in a set amount of playfield. Kix was ported to the contemporary Atari 5200 in 1982, Atari 8-Bit Family 1983, Commodore 64 1983, then brought to a wide variety of systems. Um, MS-DOS, Amiga, C another C64 version. There's always like competing C64 versions for some reason. Isn't that funny? Um, Apple II GS, Game Boy, NES, and Atari Lynx. Uh, kicks are for kids. Yeah. Uh, it needs ZPH certification first. Uh, sneezy Cat. So, John posted about this uh, originally July 19, 2020. So okay. Just over a year ago, he said. Uh, hello all. Yesterday on Champ Games' Facebook page, we revealed a proof of concept for Kicks for the 2600. It's only a few hours of work, but it shows some good progress. We post, posed the question, would you like to see a completed version released by Champ Games? <laughs> Who's going to say no? Uh, yeah. And the response was overwhelmingly positive. So we'll likely work more on this for a potential release in 2021. Uh, and then July 30th this year, uh, it's been a year since I worked on this, and this week was inspired to pick up the Kicks POC and see if I can get to a point where there's official work in progress. Mm. Um, and then October 12th, uh, this is a sneak peek of the gameplay for Kicks for the 2600. He posted a little video. Special net thanks to Nathan Strum for the cool graphics. Nathan! Mm -hmm. uh, particularly for the cool warp in death animation and Bob DeCrescenzo, aka Pac-Man Plus, for the 
arcade-like sounds. So just pay attention to the sounds that are going on here. This is the first collaboration for all three of us since the original Ladybug released in 2006. Oh, wow. It's cool. good to have the team back together. Okay, so let's get to the main event here of the game. I'm watching That's it, going, trying to now. figure out... Okay, I haven't played this game before. I think yep. I know how it works. <laughs> yeah, it's fairly straightforward. It's easy to learn, hard to master. Yes, that's, it that's seems like good, one of those games, yeah. That's the good part. Okay. It is a lot of talent in one place. Here, wait, 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 wait. Okay. I think everything's in place. Let's do it! Yay! Atari Age. And a new left joystick, right joystick. Gotcha. Yep. A new little uh, detection on the ah. bottom. There's the title screen. Kicks. Mm -hmm. uh, champ games at the bottom. One player standard. Advanced novice. And I believe it has two players as well. Oh, there we go. Credit. Oh. Nope. Credits, coding and design, John W. Shampo. Nice. High art and graphics, Nathan Strom. Music and sounds, Bob DeCrescenzo. Okay, go to the next screen. Kicks, kickers. <laughs> All champ games. Very Let's see if we can get yeah. on the board. <laughs> uh, instructions. Your marker controlled with joystick. To draw sticks, press button for fast or slow. Claim areas by joining walls with sticks. Store scores based on area. Fast, slow. 250, 500. Hmm. Okay. I think we've seen all of that. So I would do novice. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. I guess it's still one player. Yeah. There we go. I have not seen two. Is there um, a control for two players? Is it up and down? Can you go up and down? No? No, okay. that's up and down. Okay. There might be another way. Maybe it's not couch compliant. Oh. <laughs> no certification for you, John. No. Um, <laughs> Okay. Oh, it only supports one player for now. For now. Okay, okay. fair enough. That makes sense. Uh, yeah, because I uh, thought I read there was two players, but that will be coming. Oh, yeah, supports only one player for now. For and, now. Okay. And it does have information about two players. So we'll read off what will be coming. What will be coming. Um, so give it a go. Um, so Tanya's never played this. I played the game a little bit. Thank you, Metal Atari 1969, for subscribing. 14 months. Amazing. Look at the kicks. Multicolored. So, and then you let go of the button for fast drawing. And it changes color and fills it in with a different color as well. The sounds are astounding. The buzzing electrical sounds that's going on are so good. Metal Atari says, I loved Ultimate Kicks on the Genesis. I played the heck out of it. A uh, magazine type-in called Starfish. So the little uh, sparky dudes mm -hmm. uh, go around the, the edge. And that's the edge you've drawn. Ah. So you always want to watch for them. And they make their way. Oh, one's stuck at the top, though. So you don't have to worry about that guy. And the other guy's making his way to the edge. Oh, now he's made it to the edge. So now you've got two. There oh. you go. So you only have to fill up a certain percentage. And that threshold was 70. Oh, I see. And this one's 70 as well. So you can see at the top. So what is the sparky dudes? 70. They chase you, right? Uh, they don't chase you. They mindlessly go around the edge. Ah! Oh, don't start so... drawing right next to it. No, no, no. Fill algorithms aren't easy, and having one with play field graphics is impressive. Oh, it is. Atari 800XL rules! Just subscribe. Thank you Thank so much you. for enjoying the show. Ah. So a way to avoid them oh. is to start drawing. He hit... Yeah, he hit your line. Who did? Uh, the kicks. So you can't let that guy hit oh, your line. Oh, okay, see? Yeah. Things I didn't know. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, so it's very dangerous to start drawing near him. So you want to kind of draw when you're not near him. I, oh, that's that was easy. quick. Uh, 
And uh, you d once you start drawing, you don't want to stop drawing. Okay. Because a little spark starts up and will start chasing you. Okay, now you've got two of them. Um, if you split them in half and put them on each of their own thing, um, the scores double. And if you let go of the button, you draw faster. So, Oh, draw faster! Let oh, he hit my leg. Sorry, yeah. I keep forgetting that he can't hit it when you're yep. drawing. Okay. No. PL1. There's no score saving right now, so oh, that's fine. you can be PL1. I'll be PL1. <laughs> I'll be PL2. <laughs> that's, uh, Okay. Right. So, now that you've got the basics, I will start reading Just out. Just the basics. A few notes on gameplay. So you get more points for slow drawing, but fast drawing is probably better if you're in a danger area. Run. You saw the little spark start mm -hmm. when you were doing, sitting there? Uh, control supports joystick and two button uh, game pads. I didn't find it too bad with one button because in the arcade there were two buttons mm -hmm. for fast and slow. So this is so normally you don't move with the button. So what John has done is that you hold down the button to start drawing, and you keep it hold, held down if you want. No, no, no. Ugh. It. it uh, run. Keep held down if you want a slow, high high point fill-in area. Mm -hmm. And you let go of the button to do a fast one. And it'll tell you which ones you've done fast and slow by the colors. Mm -hmm. Run! Go! Ah! Run again! There you go. Um, one button joystick. Press and hold the button while moving to draw slow. Release to draw fast. Two button joystick. Press and hold B button to draw fast. Hold button C to draw slow. Goodness. Run. Oh, sorry. You gotta watch those guys. Yeah, it's a very good uh, one button solution. It makes a ah. lot of sense. <laughs> it's very chaotic. It yes, it does support the two button Genesis controller. Um, yay, 79%. Um, supports one player only for now. I plan on adding various two player modes. So the two player modes he's gonna have is two player alternating. Each player takes a turn and has their own score. Normal two player. Arcade style. Uh, two player co op alternating. Two players alternate controlling their marker after each fill. Ooh. One combined score pool of lives. And your lives are on the top. Yeah. Yeah. So he's going to add in an alternating. So one person draws a square, then the next person draws a square. That's okay. very cool. And two player co op. I always love it when. John adds in co-op mode to games that never had co-op mode. Two players, each with their own independent marker. One combined score pool of lives. Paths from each player can't cross, and if a player is drawing and caught in the other player's fill area, they are removed from the board until the next life. Okay. Uh, uh, so they, oh, they have a combined pool of lives. So if you capture the opponent, they have to wait it out until uh, you die. Or I'm guessing the next level as well. Yeah, vid video compression does not like uh, massive amounts of 60 hertz flicker. Um, so he did ah. provide... Oh, an, nice. ...an alternate uh, drawing uh, method. So it can be a static screen. So hopefully that looks better. Uh, couldn't use the missile or ball because shifting right would cause H move bars to appear and I needed the entire screen. Mm. Uh, three skill levels. Uh, level indicator at start of level and reserve indicator the color of the current skill level. So you can see green, uh, which is the reserve lives is novice blue for standard red for advanced no novice starts out often only needing 70 percent to fill and one spark on level one sparks move slower on novice uh faster on advanced fuse moves slower on novice faster on advance kicks moves slower on novice faster to advance timer moves slow on novice faster on advance plan to add a challenge mode with additional enemies play modes etc Uh, right difficulty switch toggles between scanline mode and blend mode for the playfield. No flicker in scanline. 
Uh, but better looking in play mode. Uh, but better looking in blend mode, in my opinion, he says. Stick to this screen as it doesn't go cattywampus. <laughs> <laughs> cattywampus. A, I have heard that term before. Cattywampus? I don't know where or how long ago, but that's a good term. Tanya, is this your first time playing a kick? It is. It is. Yeah. It is. Yes. <laughs> um, I've played kicks a moderate amount, and I've practiced a little bit uh, since getting this. Um, left difficulty controls spark traps. A, spark traps are disabled. We're on B right now. Sparks don't get stuck in a spark trap. B, spark traps are enabled like the arcade. Uh, when the time spark timer completes a cycle, the first time, two more sparks are added. Second time, sparks on the board turn into super sparks, green and blue. Super, super sparks follow your marker even when you're drawing. Third time, uh, two more sp super sparks are added, standard and advanced. Fourth time, two more super sparks added, advanced only. Starting with level three, there are two kicks. Split the kicks, surround one when drawing a line to cause the other one to be filled, which ends the level, to increase bonus multiplier up to nine times. So if you split the, uh, split it, um, you can go, split it enough, you can go up to nine times. Save key is detected, but high scores are not saved yet. So that's, oh, I plugged in the second controller because I misread that there's two players, um, but that's okay since the save key is not. Oh, he hit my horn. Yeah. I always... <sighs> Fond memories of playing this at the bowling alley, it's Kev said. Uh, okay. Crossbow, like I said, I played a little and watched a lot of my army buddies toss their quarters into playing Gal's Panic series of arcade games in the bars off post. Okay, let's give it a go. So the spark trap... I'll show you what that is. Mm. Yeah, yeah, come up here. That's what I wanted. Okay, you do this, then you draw this. If I don't die, ah, ah, made me panic. Um, and then while he, while that spark is Falling. going there, I'm gonna die. Is that, oh, no. You do that. Um, oh. he, and then he gets trapped in there. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah because of the way they move and oh. understand their the way they um, they complete their movement interesting they get confused <laughs> they just take left hand turns or something like yeah they they follow a certain path funny i'm not certain exactly how how that works but mm. uh. stop following me stop it stop it get out of here they're all trapped. <laughs> Whoop! What are you doing? What you can do is get him into a very small little area. Oh, I see. And you get more and more and more and more bonus. Oh, I see, I see. Oh. So if you... Like, it's very hard for him to get out of there now. Yeah. Right? Um, that was really dumb. That was very sad. <laughs> where does you, where you start off? Exactly where you died. Okay. And then you just go bloop. And you can do that, but that's not huge. 85. Yeah, 85 is pretty good. Bowling Alley is now a Korean grocery store. We're driving over there. Mm. Oh, okay. Interesting. Well, things change. I guess not as many people want to uh, bowl. <laughs> <laughs> or there's too many bowling alleys for the population that do want to bowl. Mm -hmm. So you can only travel around the new inner edge of what you create. Here. Ah. Yeah. Anyway, let's play this normally. <laughs> don't want to spark traps. That I don't. Uh, John does. Does the kicks have a brain? Does he kind of follow you, or is it mindless? Because it always seems to be like, oh, I'm gonna come and mess up what you're doing. I'm just gonna slowly travel over where you are. Tap and release for fast, hold for short. Yep. So oh, James, you should be doing those large fills with orange slow for double points. Uh, so if you fill it slowly, if it's a, like a 
if you, you get more time, points. Right? Yeah, but if it's if you know where you you housed him into a, an area, yeah, that you should do slowly. That makes sense. Right, right, yeah. right. If you have the opportunity, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Mm. The kicks does follow you more on advanced, less on novice. Okay, so it does have a bit of a brain. Get him. Yeah. Trapped. <laughs> Trap those sparkies. Oh no, we got out! Yeah, they don't always stand. Just some. Depends on their paths. Uh, I'm neglecting to do slow ones. They're so slow. No! Stop following me. No! <gasps> he hit you. Oh no. Last second. Right at the last second. So I can do slow in there. Not Oh, he got out of the little trap. Now, this game was touted as impossible to be done because... Because of... You have to use the play field to do all this drawing. Mm. And there's only 40 play field pixels across the screen right so everybody was like oh my god that's not enough to do what i want to do um get in there get in there <laughs> <laughs> so uh, if you if you block them into two different areas you get more points yeah Is that the you, idea? you double the points so if you yeah, can you try can. but ah ah <gasps> ah silly <sighs> player two I'll be player two. Perfect. Still playing on novice. <laughs> Does the line itself count towards your score? The area of the line? Is that what you're asking? I don't know. Oh, plus the RAM needed to keep the state of the game board. Yeah, because you have to keep... What is it? What's going on? Run! Oh my goodness. It's because you were too close to yeah, the edge. Yeah, to the edge. I noticed you're that. You're not making it far enough. I mean, that's, that's one of the limitations. Ah, oh, run, 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 make a thing. Oh my God. <laughs> that's <laughs> one of the limitations <laughs> of the, the pixels is yeah. that if you get, if you get to a corner that you've already done, it's, uh, it gets a little, gets a little wiggly. I find it easier to split them if you build a straight up the middle. Yeah. If you do a, uh, ah. whoa, you just evaded that guy. That's uh, barely. I was wondering about that since the lines are playfield pixel thick, they'd be thicker than in the arcade game. It would be a shame to lose out on points because the line, because the lines are thick. I'm, yes, it takes 40 bits per line and it's about 200 high, so about 1k to store the fill area. There we go. Oh, oh if you can get that guy in there. Oh, you can't so you have to do follow the, inner the outside. One. Yeah, always the outside. Coming. Kicks games are extremely addicting. Yeah, I mean they're so. <sighs> that was so. Uh, that was silly. My dad. No, last life. Are there any? Can you gain any lives in this game? Okay, so let's let's read about strategy here, because we know about the um, spark trap. Oh, good job. Eighty-six percent. I also store all the paths in a 40 by 100 line array. That's true, because it mm -hmm. not only has to store what's been filled, but the, all the paths. Um, so, tree branch strategy. Where you start making like little, little branches everywhere, rather than thick lines. Ah, run! Um... The theory behind the tree branch strategy is this. If you create enough small open areas, the kicks will eventually get trapped in one. You can then seal off the kicks and claim the rest of the area, preferably beyond 75%. How you do it? Erect a tree trunk. Start your pattern with the trunk near to the top, nearly to the top of the screen. It may take up six or seven moves. It may only take one. Be careful. Create as many branches at po as possible. It may be better to think of these as hangman's gallows. Create these everywhere, from the tree 
Uh, from the trunk, from all sides of the, machine, of the machine, your primary aim is to leave as small a space as possible. It should be big enough for the kicks to enter, yet small enough to seal off. Trap the kicks. Okay. Triple arena strategy. Another highly successful strategy uh, follows a more structured method than the tree branch. With fast draw, build two columns, one from the top, one from the bottom, to split the screen into three vertical rectangles. Create horizontal blocks uh, from time to time as you go up or down. It's very, very similar to the tree branch one. Uh, and I do the flood fill in another memory area to determine if it crosses a kick. Then fill the play field column by column from left to right, like the arcade. Right. Original name was supposed to be Pix, but the programmer t typo the Q. Okay, that's not true. <laughs> Cafe Mentuti is making up false rumors. Uh, Nostalgic 26, I'm itching to play this now. Uh, looks like I'll be adding this to my Champ Games collection. Oh yeah, unbelievable. Uh, the patient approach. Uh, another approach is to refrain from blocking off areas for the sake of claiming points until the very last move. Sparks move along the parameter of the unclaimed area, and claiming too much of the board too soon ensures the sparks have a short trip back to you, returning more frequently. Instead of blocking up other air arenas, narrow the passages between the arenas and narrow the arena the kicks is in. This tends to confine the kicks without blocking it in. Develop the skill of adding to a narrow wall by adding to the end, making it longer and longer. Consider a four arena strategy if the opportunity presents itself. Oh my god. Oh, I knew that was silly. <laughs> that was just silly. The quadrant strategy. Another highly successful, simple strategy is the quadrant. In effect, your aim is to divide the screen into four separate parts. Construct the four columns. The kicks will claim one quarter. You can seal off the other quarters with the slow draw, collecting double points. Uh, wait for an opportune time to seal off the kicks. Twin kick strategy requires special handling. Each time you split the kicks, you complete the level regardless, gaining no points for the line, but adding a permanent multiplier to all future levels. After eight splits, the multiplier maxes out at nine times. If you split too early with only, say, 13% of the board claimed, uh, you miss out of the points claiming the other 61. Plan on getting as much of the board as possible, up to 74%. Then split the two kicks to increase the multiplier. So, chance to split them. You just draw a column as far up as you can, straight up. Little by little. Ugh, get out of my way! Get out of- Aha! <laughs> They're hanging around. Run! No! <laughs> That's not the- Last one. life. Need to go back. My turn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you defeat kicks with 99% of the arcade, you fight Shang Long. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure about that. Mm. We're still going to be playing novice for a little bit here. Uh... Oh, too, fought. too much, too much, too much. Went over too much. Mm. Get out of here! So annoying. So if you do that... Mm. Like, we were talking about doing four quadrants, like, break it up. I didn't do a great mm. job there, because I made that little big thing there. Mm. And then breaking it up into another quadrant there. And then you can um, pretty much isolate yeah. him into one quadrant, right? Yeah. Oh, he was in that. Oh, my goodness. Uh, ah, move! Ah, yeah, too, much, too tight. Yeah. Too tight there. Oh. Yep. oh, but I should have... That's mm. what you do at the end is slow. You do a slow one. That's the opportunity. So you do all these um, little ones mm. fast. So you can... Ugh. Ah, good. Novice difficulty is hard enough. Is that Bob's influence? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah, we'll have to try some harder levels. There we go. So, ah! Might as well see 
start this one. Get out of here. No! Oh, Ooh, that, was that was very close. <laughs> Oh, oh, see, he's moving over here now. Pick a side, pick a side. You can close that side off if you want to. Yeah. Um, because what you want to do mm. is then get him in a quadrant and That's do a really slow small. one. And do a slow uh, one, right? Because then you get tons of points. Yeah. There's the bonus. Advanced arcade players would also create mazes back and forth to loo keep loose sparks occupied. Uh, yeah, makes sense. Yeah. It's a neat game. It's a very kind of simple concept too. Like yeah, it's very easy to understand like right away, but hard to execute. Place a little different because when you're doing horizontal movements, oh, they're, them. they're a lot. Um... <gasps> oh no, so close. I made it. <laughs> so close. No. Oh no. no. And I didn't do it slow. Oh, you're almost. <gasps> ah, I got stuck in a corner. Yeah, you can't mm. quite hit the corner. No. <laughs> Didn't read any of this. Nope. Just watching you play. Um. Yep. Demo is going to be posted after the show, so everyone can download and enjoy. Uh. Bob did an amazing job on the sounds. Thanks, Pac-Man plus Atari Age. This is Johnny. John. Johnny WC23. John Champo and Nathan Strum's animation for the warp in slash death was very creative and looks awesome. Everything looks astounding on this. Um, the little sparks, the kicks. Nice. Oh, get some tactics. Yeah, do a slow one. Box them in. Oh. Ah, ah. Ah. Some, it, the, the cornering is... is, is um... You have to be aware of it. You can't do too small of a movement. That's, that's, the, that's the thing. Good ones. Remember, do it slow to trap them off. Go straight across. I'm scared. Go slow. Nice. Eighty-six percent. Nice bonus. Very nice. That was very close. Only the wide playfield pixels indicate this is running on a twenty-six hundred. That's true. It's only really the width that's showing it off. Uh, vertical, everything's good. The uh, the kicks looks awesome. Your player looks awesome. The sparks look awesome. Information no. at the top. Oh, uh, you get stuck. Yeah. It's weird how that happens. Yeah, you just have to work with the game. It's to because understand the, 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 the lines are, are wider, yeah. yeah. Oh, gosh. It's because you need to make a minimum. Oh, we should have done that slow. That's okay. Um, a minimum three across. Mm -hmm. You can't do two. It has to have a middle to it, right? So don't try and turn around no, too early. Too, too, My too turn. ambitious. Too ambitious. Without an arm, this would run at one frames per second. Mm. I'm not sure it could draw <laughs> without the <laughs> arm, in fact. You are player one. Mm -hmm. mm, you got some good bonuses. Mm -hmm. Okay. One more on novice. Novice. And then we'll go to no. advanced. Come on, kicks. Get out of my face. There we go. Actually, I should be doing it fast. There we go. It's a little easier. 
too big. Uh, and then let's we'll do quadrant one there, just in case. Mm -hmm. and, uh, the big gain is a 6k of memory. Without that, it would be impossible. Uh, yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff to keep there track has to of be here. A lot of calculations going on, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, a lot Nostalgic. of nostalgic. It's no different than any other adapting we have to do when playing an arcade port to the 2600. Some things will be different, but in this case, not much. No. Um, Phaser Cat games. This no. might be one of those games where you actually get worse with experience because you keep thinking of crazier things <laughs> to try. Yeah. Let's yeah. just... This is taking too long. Let me just... Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because yeah. in the race for trying to get bonus points yes. and doing special things, it's it gets harder to do yeah. those special things, right? So as you get fancier, it's going to actually make it harder. Yeah. <laughs> Which is a very strange thing yeah. that you're making the game harder for yourself. But yeah. He's bouncing around up there. Perfect opportunity to draw something over here. What? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Can't do you corners. Can't, you can't Watch join those corners. a pixel off the corner. No. Yeah. Causes you problems. So let's just seal this off a bit better. Oh my god, if I could do that. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, for a second there, I thought you, you had it made. Yeah. No. You're going to trap him into a tiny spot. That almost worked here. Almost. But if you want to seal off where he is, the problem is um, mm -hmm. he's there, <laughs> right? Uh -oh. um, what I want to do is I don't know because I have to block this off first, right? Well, you can you can make that area smaller. You can try because he's not in a corner corner. I can block off. Oh, what what's he doing? He was like hiding in the corner there. That was crazy. There we go. Mm, nice. Johnny WC23. The flood fill is pretty straightforward with lots of RAM, but it would be much slower without the arm. Jesus. Right now it fills oh. up to 64 pixels per frame. That would probably have to go down to three or four. Wow. Uh, the Nathan speed of Strum, the I've safe stated my way to 99%. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, one way of doing that, it. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. <laughs> so let's play standard. Okay. This is going to be deadlier. He's going to come after you more? Is that the idea? Um, or there's more sparks? Uh -huh. So I, I'm sure you said and I wasn't paying attention. I did. Uh, novice starts off only needing 70% to fill and one spark on level one. Sparks move slower on Novice, faster on Advance. Fuse moves slower on Novice, faster on Advance. Kicks move slower on Novice and faster on Advance. Timer moves slower on Novice, faster on Advance. Plan to add a challenge mode with additional enemies, play modes, etc. Hmm. Oh my god. So fast. Oh, so there's the left difficulty controls spark traps. Yep, they are so on right now. So you can have them on or off. I just haven't bothered with doing them. Yeah. But uh, it does help like mm -hmm. if you if you make one. Because then you don't have to deal with as many sparks. Mm -hmm. right? Of course you're up here. Of course you are. No, they don't. Not all. Not all. It's usually only one. And then the rest, as they appear, are always there, at the top, and they get trapped. So you only have to deal with one spark at, uh, at a time. Boot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. is that you a get corner? Caught. You get caught on the corner, and then yeah. And then you're screwed. You're screwed. Oh, oh no! So close. That was quick. <laughs> that was so close. We're going back to Novus. Because <laughs> it's just... Did fun. you flip it to novice? I did. Oh, okay. You can tell by how much. Then we can try super hard. Oh, uh, no. It's not done yet. Super hard's not in the game yet. It shows it's in the game, but I, I don't think it's in
That one spark probably should have been trapped. I've yet to be able to trap both on this build. Mm. Oh, no. I don't want to... Oh, my God. <laughs> I wanted to do a well, slow fill. That's so. pretty interesting. Nice. 83. Very good, very good. In a debug session with the kick suppressed. Could suppressed. you theoretically get 100%? I don't... No, know. because you have... It, it wouldn't fill no, both... No, not that way! It wouldn't fill both sides. Oh, oh. oh what is this? Oh, look at this interestingness. Oh, because it's right at the corner. Yeah. I don't like what's going on here. <laughs> when you're at a corner and you start drawing, it's uh, it gets a, a little, little unpredictable yeah. which direction you go. Nice. Very nice. Watch out. Uh, oh, I no. wasn't at a, an edge. In the right direction. So really, you want to block off the, the small corner. area yeah. first, because then you can do the big area. Yeah, watch out for this dude. Oh, oh I we pressed weren't. it. No, you weren't. I better hold you it. You went to the left, I think. Yeah. It's okay. Last life on level one to level two, I guess. Wow. You can use those crossover intersections to create shortcuts and avoid sparks. Yeah. So uh, it's an interesting little thing you can make with the crossover. Mm. Yeah, like this. You can make one like... Johnny says... Uh, oh, I didn't quite do it. Phaser Cat Games. The arcade does that. I originally made it so you couldn't do that, but Nathan correctly pointed out that you could in the arcade. Oh, the crossover yeah. thing? Yeah. Interesting. Oh, my God. That was close. Yeah, very. Oh, it, he came back? Yeah. He, he turned around and uh, came right for you. Mm. Was this... Yeah. Still? Yep. I got top score. Fifty thousand. Hi. Hi. Are you cute? Come here. Cuddle up here. Do you like kicks? Um, before the show, people were uh, talking about the pronunciation of the game. Because oh. it's Q-I-X. Um, and you could think that it could be quicks, right? Because uh, no. there's usually with it. Whoa, <laughs> I don't know how that worked out. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh, you said that pretty good. Don't get killed. Because um, usually it's a Q-U, which would be qua, right? Um, but it's actually pronounced. Oh, that's going to be a good one. Nice. 87. Nice. Yep, it's like, it's like kicks. Um, so if, if there needed to be an alternate name for this game, what could you name it? You could put a U in there. Q-U-I-X. Quicks. <laughs> and call it Quicks. Or you could just call it K I K X. There's probably a video game to go down. Oh, no. It wouldn't let me go down. It went up. Oh, it a went up bit. one, so you yeah. couldn't go back down. Mm. I was trying to do a trap, but it didn't work. So. Or you could K I K uh, K I C K uh, S and actually just go for kicks and call it kicks. Yeah. Um. Ah. <laughs> oh, oh no! no Come on, go, 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 go! Oh, <laughs> oh I, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well. <laughs> oh, QIQS. That'd yeah. be a good one. Kicks, yeah. Yeah, yeah kicks. Yeah. With two Qs. You can make uh, them both capital. Q-I-Q-S. That'd be a good one. Just call it Q. Q, 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 Q. Yep. We're going to try and keep the kicks uh, name as we can... If we can get Al to sign off on it. That would be amazing. Um, this is such a, a unique and weird name. And somebody... <gasps> um, the corners! They get ya! Somebody on Facebook um, thought that the 
the pattern of the kicks spelling out kicks with all the colors. Oh, you split them. Um, spelling out kicks would look awesome. What? Um, so you complete the level. Oh, I see. Yeah. So, oh, oh, you're going slow. I meant to go down. Oh, that was weird. Yeah. Like a rainbow kick spelled ah. with the kicks. Oh, they really yeah. like yeah, me. They do. Yeah, Taito. I wonder how, how crazy Taito is. I know the big N is, is the most unfriendly to, uh, to ports. <laughs> they will shut you down. Even if you name it something else. They're like, no, 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 no. You're not making that game. Case in point, uh, Great Gianna Sisters. Oh my gosh. Wow, that's a <laughs> interesting one to traverse. No! no! My turn! My dad! Oh, that was going well. Yep. Keeks. Tito. <laughs> Keeks. <laughs> Q, 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 Q. Um, is there anything that we should try that we haven't tried? Mm. That's within our, within our skill range. <laughs> nope, 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 what? Oh no, this is something they warn you about. <laughs> Death spiral. Uh, I want to do over. Uh, Rage reset. <sighs> <laughs> well, someone had to make that mistake. Yep. And I'm glad it wasn't me. <laughs> Oh, try advance. We haven't really seen the fuse yet or the super sparks. Uh -huh. Advance? Oh, I thought uh. it wasn't implemented. Oh, okay. Spiral death trap TM, says Nathan Strum. <laughs> yep. It's, it's actually in the instructions. Is it? It's, uh, it's on the screen don't, don't of do what this. not to do. No. <laughs> on, on the, uh, the oh, attract funny. screen. That's funny. I like that. That is pretty funny. Seal off dude, that bottom. You should go in the bottom. Go in the bottom, dude. Okay. All right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get up to the top. Oh, there's some more. Okay, so we'll, we will do advanced after this. Okay. Death spirals can happen in the arcade, but it's higher at the resolution. Harder at the, the resolution. higher resolution. Yeah, because yeah. you're able to get out of sticky situations a little bit easier, mm -hmm. I'm guessing, because you can worm your way worm in. around. Get away. Big tower. There you go. Yeah. Uh, you gonna go over? Can you go on that side? No, oh, uh, no. Make up your mind. Nice. Yep. It's pretty trapped there. Watch out. So, um... Oh my gosh, there's four. Yeah, I Four sparkies. Finish this off. Oh, it's down there. <gasps> go, no! I would have just gone... Sealed off the center. There you go. Nice. 75. Meh, nice. meh, meh, meh. Can you change speed and mid-move in the arcade? Mm. I th well, in this one, you can't go back to slow. I mean, you can go slow, but it won't count as slow. Um... Mm. That is a good question. Because there's in the arcade, there's two buttons on the arcade machine um, for fast and slow. It's not just the one button. Ah! Oh, I too close. Direction. Yeah, it was too, too too spontaneous the movement. Yeah, can't be that close to those dudes. No. Mm. I know someone in the ah. Oh, in the forums had oh, an arcade machine of kicks mm. owned one oh. can, can trying to joystick's not working with me um okay so it in in the instructions or the hints it's like you should fill in as much as you can before you split them before splitting them as long as they don't split Nice. 
because nice. I did because I hardly got any score for that level, right? Yeah. But you get double now. On this level. Yeah. You can split it again mm -hmm. for even more. Honey. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh, whoa, 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 <laughs> Hold up. Yeah. Uh, let's do another branch here. Yeah. Just in case they feel like going down there. Mm, probably not. Go down! Quick. I ah. know, it's when it, yeah, I know. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, they're almost split up. Ooh, no, not quite. Not quite. Oh. Oh, oh, I didn't see him. Oh, I know. You okay. get so focused okay, on... Okay, now we're going to do advanced. Okay. This is... Uh... Nathan Storm said there was... Uh, oh, not Johnny say I've gotten up to three times multiplayer, so nine times would be pretty sweet. Yeah, it would be. Uh, Nathan Storm, you can only go slow to fast, otherwise it'd be too easy to boost your score. Yeah. Once you draw fast, though, the fill will be blue no matter what. The sing single score, yeah. Once you go fast, you're not going back to the orange. Uh, Phaser Cat, I know I've been four or five times on the 5200. Uh, oh, good. Draw, oh, draw. I, I was trying to. Am I hitting the wrong button? Maybe I am. Are you on advance? Yes. Okay. It's just more deadly. More deadly. That is a really fast kiss. Yes, it is. It is moving. Oh, he's coming. Uh, this is not good. Nathan Strong, there's a phenomenally good player at the University of Washington. When I went there, mesmerizing to watch. The spark comes and gets you really quick. Oh my gosh, that's really fast. It was fast. like instant. You really can't even slow down. I didn't even realize. <laughs> wow, oh. that fuse goes. So that was level one? Yeah. Let's I didn't realize the fuse thing. I would have moved a lot faster. So supposedly he goes after you more now. Who does the yeah the that kicks. makes sense. Yeah, the fuse is like almost instant. It starts automatically. I mean, still have to get seventy five on this one. Do you? Yeah. yeah. Eh, eh. Eh, hey! I wonder if he goes after you more if you're drawing. Careful. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, that's gonna get be... him. Get him. Yeah. Duh! Oh, I didn't Ooh. do slow. 92. <laughs> that was but I good, forgot though. to do slow. <laughs> 92 on advanced. Not bad. Nostalgic Just... making Captain Picard jokes. <laughs> what, which he said, Captain Picard gave me a good advice for this game. He said the line must be drawn here. <laughs> ah! No! 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 Oh my god! Oh my god! They're after me. Better, better to not get slow than to get caught. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's very, very, true. very true. So you do have to get used to the play field size a little bit in this game, um, but not much. It doesn't really affect things too much I don't find so let's do this bottom one yeah I don't think I'm gonna make 75 though that's the problem almost not guaranteed not gonna make 75 oh there was a guy coming after me first thing there you go you're on the corner oh, you can't God. do that oh. I was like I can't move I know you just get caught. It's like, nope, can't do that. Uh, 74. Nope. 75. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, two kicks now. It's definitely more frantic. Oh, they're just moving like crazy. Oh, they're after you. Ah, ah, get out of here. Ooh, look ooh, at ooh. look as soon as I draw a line they're like oh line <laughs> oh I like that line yeah. that you're drawing there can I have some of that no oh! oh too big too big I tried to go up but it's too like too big uh, am I gonna give this a try again it's pretty rough I like the purity of kicks more than the sequel with its extra graphics and power-ups <laughs> so much fun where can I find the demo the demo will be posted after the show you're two right two? Yeah. yeah oh not bad for advanced did you play advanced already yes Let's this go back is you yeah, yeah, I know. 
Yeah. Did you did play? Oh this. yeah. No, no, I died really fast. I want to play one more. I want to play one more novice. Wow. Now that I've played advanced. <laughs> it's a tiny one. Didn't mean to do that. He's coming for you. Oh, you're trying to do the um, no. the trap? Oh, no. okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Trying not to die is the, the name of my game right now. Um, I believe if John is still here, um, but I Go believe in that corner. he programs in ed, um, assembly and then C++ for... Um, I do that. Arm? How did I do that? I don't think we ever saw the super sparks. No, I don't think so. Oh, I had to. Did sparks! we incur the super sparks? Can I go to where the super sparks should come out? Um. Yes. Amazing. It's amazing. It is. Are you limited to being able to move up and down based on your horizontal position? A little bit. It's it's. You have to be a little bit aligned with a play field. The biggest restriction is that. What Tanya just did is you have to draw a minimum. You have to go over two play field spots minimum to draw a, uh, a box. I don't know what they call them in this game. <laughs> yeah, to draw a box. Um, I'm just going for the basic strategy. I don't strategy. know. I just don't want to die. <laughs> I just don't want to die. No, no! Move! I hate it when it stops. Oh, good night, John. Thank you so <laughs> <Good> much <night. laughs> for making this amazing game <laughs> along with uh, Nathan Strom and Pac Man Plus. Is he leaving? Uh, yeah, he has to go to sleep. Oh. Or somewhere. He has to leave. Good night. Good night. So much fun. So I'm yeah. going to do one more novice, and then we shall move on. Okay. Everything should seem a lot slower. Oh, it is. Look how <laughs> slow that kicks is moving. Hi, Tari. Yes. Do you want to play kicks? He just wants to chase the, uh, the sparkly thing on the screen, I think. Spark, spark guy comes up pretty quick. Yeah. Oh. Yes, it's oh, great. Yeah. I really like it. <laughs> it's right up my alley. Puzzle game? Yes. Yep. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, no, no, I knew you were going to run into trouble. <sighs> so silly. So silly of a thing I did. Oh, I don't silly know how too. you <laughs> survived that one. Um, so, what am I doing here? Uh, I need to go all the way around again. Guy's coming. There we go. There. So, uh, yeah. yeah. Then I can... Slow? Oh, you should oh, go slow. Oh, damn it. Then you can just. Do the slow one there. 79. 6502 assembler and C. There we go. Yes, yeah, so that's what we need a laser pointer that makes kicks shapes that will entertain the cats <laughs> and the humans. Yes. Yes, we need this laser. Um... Laser kicks. Laser kicks! Yeah. It's a sequel. Uh, just get it hooked up to a laser and drawn on a screen. The cats can chase after it. <laughs> yeah? Would you like to no, chase you could after lasers? Turn, you could turn the kicks into a laser or the sparks into a laser. True, true. Right? Yeah. Um, what was that? Oh, you're a bad cat. Don't do that, kitty. I'm guessing this couldn't be... This would be amazing looking on the Vectrex, but it would be too hard to represent probably because um, because of the fill. Mm. It'd be too much to fill. It's treat in. time. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. Metal Lunar, thank you very much. Are you ready? 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 Oh, Man. meows. Thank you, Metal Lunar, for Thank feeding you. the cats. This is the only time in the week they get fed. Oh, yes. Just twice a week. <laughs> Just twice a week. So that's why they're so excited. No. Poor kitties. We should broadcast more. <laughs> so they get more food. Starve. Yay! 
you to hit the bell? Ding, ding. No! Arr! Good Why? kitty. Good kitty. So, really, okay. what Are I should trail? do is this and get as many points as possible. Yes, clearly, Atari looks to be starving. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a problem, yeah. aren't you? Aren't you? Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's figured out that he figured out that bell pretty darn fast. He's like, if I do this, I get what? I get treats. <laughs> I get treats. Ah! We just have to teach him how to play games. Yeah, One yeah. More. There you go. One more, because you're playing the cats. Yes. A rage reset there. Good ding. Kitty. That was a very uh, good kitty. He just goes. Sure he like ding. he he dings and looks you in the face at the same time, like <laughs> just in case. Food. You don't understand what he just accomplished. Yes. He's like, don't take it away. <laughs> no, I did. It wasn't done. I wasn't done. I want more. You you've had like six already. Five oh six. oh god! It yeah. didn't pull down the button and I accidentally went to the left. That's okay. I completed it. Wolf Wolfide was the name of the Kix sequel I couldn't think of earlier. That's a strange name. Though it name. came to PS1 as Kix Neo. Interesting. Why would they change the name completely? Yeah, but then they the switched it for ah. the PS1. That's interesting. Yeah, that makes more sense. Because people are like, what? Wolfied? What game is this? Mm-hmm. Just make sometimes you don't you don't know exactly where they're gonna go. Yeah, but I'm drawing it too close, like to the to the guy. Yeah. That's that's the issue. And I'm just taking risks. Like if I drew there, that'd be stupid, because he's right there. Um I do wanna kind of box him in a bit more. Ah! You need one from this from the edge, yeah. Like over there. Yeah. Oh, he's stuck. Oh, he's trying to get over to the other side! <gasps> Oh, that's good. Ooh, this is good. He's really trapped. Let's do that. Yeah. And then do a oh. nice big end. No, get, no. Get over here. Over here. Over here. Watch out. That's, there we go. No, no. Come just, on. Just, just. Yeah, I'll just do it. There's <laughs> <laughs> still 83%. Bullfight on the PC engine. Oh, oh really? Interesting. There's kicks on the PC engine? Yeah, probably change it to Kicks Neo for name recognition. Yeah. Like, yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Is it unofficial and then they that somebody just made it a kicks like game? And I don't then know. they went, oh, we should call it kicks. And yeah. they got the license for it, maybe? Maybe. Oh, get out of here. A little corner there. Oh, well, maybe I can uh, course. No, you did. Okay, we're moving up then. Going up. They're a little bit apart. No, oh, 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 oh. Nice. Please, come on. Come on. Stop it. That definitely seals them off. Yeah. Now I can try and get some points because if you I... can, he's in the bottom corner. You should. No, oh, it's mm. a little late now. I was gonna say maybe you can seal them off. Well. Oh. The thing is. Down, go down. Go down. Oh, he's going down. Oh. Get him in there. Yeah. But it doesn't do anything. That's the problem. As soon as you split them, it's like the level's over and you That's get no true. bonus points yeah. whatsoever. <laughs> getting angry yeah. getting angry well they just they hang around you <laughs> and they bug you oh, oh not paying attention. I, was, I was paying yeah. attention to waiting for the spark to go by yeah it happens <sighs> no 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 i don't think you get any bonus lives like you get three and oh, I that's see. all you that's get. Oh, I see. That's it. That's your whole game. Mm. 
No. I knew it. Damn it. Do you want one more? No, no. no? Let's, okay. let's move on. I could play this all night. Yep. <laughs> uh, amazing. Yes. Amazing, astounding game uh, that they thought could be done. And you saw it yourself. Mm -hmm. It can be done. So, kicks by John Champo, Nathan Strom, Bob DeCrescenzo. Mm -hmm. um, super, super awesome. Uh, we're going to move on to 1942, but not just yet. Okay. Calm, calm. Uh, we're going to take a look at what it looks like in the arcade. Um... So let me bring up 1942 in the arcade. Boom, boom. YouTube. <laughs> Nathan Storm. Next up, John will do Robotron. Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> it has already been done. Another impossible. So, an amazing um, top down shooter. Mm -hmm. Is this the actual gameplay? Yep, it is. We're just gonna. That nah, should be fine. It has very strange music. <laughs> 1942. It's pretty much a guy going nuts on a whistle and some crazy drum beats. Um, but yeah, let me read about it as soon as I get over there. It is a very, very fun game. Uh, it's from 19. My notes. Uh, 1984, a uh, vertically scrolling shooter game made by Capcom that was released for the arcades in 1984, uh, designed by Yoshiko Akamoto. It was the first game in the 19XX series, followed by 1943, Battle of Midway. Here it is on the NES. 1942. Nice. Uh, set in the Pacific Theater of World War II. Turn down the sound a bit here. And is loosely based on the Battle of Midway. Despite the game being created by Japanese developers, the goal is to reach Tokyo and destroy the Japanese air fleet. <laughs> Strange. That is interesting. Uh, this yeah. is, was due to being the first Capcom di game designed with Western markets in mind. Went on to be a commercial success in arcades, becoming Japan's fifth highest grossing table arcade game of 1986. Mm. Um, there is tons of ports. MSX, uh, PC-8801, FM7, Sharp X1, Famicom, NES... Game Boy Color, Amstrad CPC, ZX Spectrum, and the Commodore 64. Now, the Commodore 64 is of note because it has awesome music, um, mm. which they've carried over into the, port. the 2600 oh, port. Oh, nice. So we're gonna Good night, take... Nathan. Just wanted to say night, he's Nathan. hanging out. Thank you so much for the amazing job you did on yes. the graphics. Very, very, very good. Oh, I didn't... Very uh, good. Bring up the music. One second. There it is. Boom. Hi, kitty. See a cute cat? He is a cute cat. He is. Here's the music. Yeah. He loves the music. Yeah. Do you like the Commodore 64 Me music? Making him dance? Oh, to yeah. 1942. <laughs> so there's uh, there's the music for the Commodore 64 version. It is awesome. Mm -hmm. um, it is uh, based on the main verse of Rod Goodwin's 66633 Squadron movie score. Mm. Um, it's a little bit more upbeat and synthesized for the Commodore 64, but it sounds just like it. Uh, I won't play it because it will get copy striked. <laughs> 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 because somebody else posted it in YouTube and it identified it, so we won't be doing that. But uh, apparently the any uh, the Commodore 64 music is a okay to play. Mm. Uh, so this actually this port started in 2011, uh, a long, long time ago. Yep, this is played a few times during the pre-show tunes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really, really good. Uh, oh, there you go. Everybody can see their own chat there. Uh, 
so let's switch over to the game. And now that you've heard the music from this Commodore 64 version, mm -hmm. load up 1942. And this, the music was done amazingly. And it was done by Pat Brady. Oh, I love how it's flat. So, unbelievable music for the TIA. Mm -hmm. Like, just stock sounds that are built into the um, uh, 2600. Unbelievable. So, this was first posted in 2011 by Homer Homer. Uh, and he just made one post. And he said, I was thinking about what game I should make. And I thought 1942 would be really cool. Yes. Mm -hmm. Although I'm new to programming, I was able to piece together a start. Any help would be awesome. And it just kind of sat there for uh, nine years. Wow. <laughs> and then wow. somebody posted something like, oh, that's really cool. And then I, I'm guessing that's when Al Nefer saw it. Yeah. And he went, that is really cool. Mm -hmm. And because the original person posted their source code for the Bratari basic um, uh, source code for the game, Al first kept going with it. Mm. Um, and he said, I played with the code. Uh, here's the most recent output of my efforts. Uh, plus cart users can be, f uh, you can find it on the plus cart. If you have a plus cart, it's already mm -hmm. up there. Um, what he has left in the to do's explosion sounds and animation, repeat different parts of the landscape to have more variety and longer levels, asymmetric play field, multi splite kernel only supports mirrored, uh, longer missiles. Uh, multi sprite kernel only supports one pixel missile. Oh, he saw it on my wish list actually. Oh. And then you probably searched for other people doing 1942 and then found this old one. Nice. That's that's great. Yeah, this is a game on my wish list for 2600 or 7800. Yeah. It would yeah. be great on either one. And there was already a, a decent start. Yeah. Um, the title screen is great. awesome. Great music, amazing, yep. Yep. amazing. So, let's get into it. Okay. You know how to play it. Sort of. There's the uh, there's the the uh, carrier. So right now, it it is early. The planes don't fire back at you. So, but he has added it in. If you do crash into the the enemy planes, you can lose a life. You have your lives oh. down. Oh, you crashed. It came uh, from behind, but yes. Yeah, I wouldn't stay at the oh, bottom. Oh, you can. There are around. planes that come up from the bottom, so don't stay right near the bottom. Oh, right into it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Ready. There we go. And take off. So a lot of people are have been helping out with this, with with graphics and making them look it's better. Really and, cool. and the sound, so it's got a really good start to it. Got the big plane there. Ah! And he's got the uh, great. the crazy whistle music as well in the game, which barely considered music. Oh, I linked it on the wish list. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I might as well link ones that people have uh, started. So you can download it's this neat. in the Atari Age forums. There's some little islands I love, going by. I love, I love the background that, that's incorporated into it. Yeah. The islands in the water is great. Yeah. I mean, it's not smooth scrolling, but it's, it's okay because it's background. Yeah. It's kind of like if you're in a plane. <laughs> yep. Yeah, so there are a couple things that need to be done still on it. Mm. Um, the planes need to fire back. Um, there needs to be a pow, so you can get the double wide shot. Oh, you made it to the end of the level. Nice. Very nice. And it starts off the next level. Oh. Um. Oh, got killed. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, oh you yeah. got killed again. Oh Don't stay goodness. near the bottom. I, I try not to, but they come up a little fast. Yeah. Um, it needs to work on the plane patterns a bit mm -hmm. more so it mirrors the arcade. Like those, those, he's got some built in. Like he's got a, a, some of the plane patterns. Mm -hmm. um, oh, right into me. One of the How bugs. How the flip be in implemented? Goodness. Yeah, I've been trying to think about the flip. You could either have a second joystick and on the floor and press the button for a flip. Can you can you do things like hold the button and push the joystick on the 2600 or no? Well, the problem with this game is you move all over directions. And you have to shoot constantly, I guess. Yeah. The only other way is that you could do a double press. Gotcha. Be but that would force you to do hold it down for auto fire mm. because if you're like pressing like this yeah, you could be flipping all the time that's true. but i think that's how they did it on the commodore 64 version yeah he may want to look on the other versions that have been made for other systems that only have one button mm. but i'm pretty sure the c64 used the second joystick desert falcon used a double press to activate powers yeah, because I think most people would probably stick with the auto fire. Or you make it an option mm -hmm. with one of the switches. Uh, you could put the flip on the second port. True. Or, as another option, have an auto fire by holding it down or a double, double hit for the flip. So if people want to use two joysticks, they can. Or if they want to use one joystick, they can. So that's a solution. Um... Another thing, uh, when you shoot two airplanes that are doubled or tripled, all three of them disappear. Yeah, I've noticed them. that, yeah. So that needs to be worked on. I like how that there's a transparency to the planes, like they're in different la yeah. layers, you know? Well, that's a side effect, but... Uh, no, but that's kind of what it looks like. Yeah, like that they're, they're in lower. fog, almost, yeah. like in cloud. Yeah, yeah. I kind of like it. So it works. It works. It's because of flicker, right? Mm. Oh, you made it. Yeah, um, yeah, it yeah. is also, the game is not eight-way. So it needs to be an eight-way game. Right now it's only four-way. So you can go on the diagonal? Yeah, so right now you can't do diagonal movements, so that needs to be done as well. Or, or yes, add in Genesis two-button support. Mm -hmm. That's another third option. That's probably the better option than the floor. True. With two joysticks. The floor. <laughs> yep, smack it with your foot. <laughs> smack it with your foot. Get out the foot pedal controller. <laughs> Um, and, and of course, if he's able to do it, he's using a, uh, specific Batari basic kernel, um, to get in smooth scrolling of the backgrounds, of, you know, like the, the stuff on the bottom. But this is an excellent, excellent start. Oh, I mean, it's he's amazing. Got, it he's it got has the, the right feel for yep. sure. The music is done. It's, oh. it, the music is perfect. And, uh... A game over that flashes on the screen rather than going back to the um, title screen. Add in thrust plus pedal support. <laughs> yes, that's right. The thrust plus pedal support. But uh, yeah, I've been wanting 1942 mm -hmm. on either of these systems for quite a while because mm -hmm. it's such a great shooter. The uh, 2600 can always use more shooters and more platforms. That's true. That's true. Yeah, because there are certain patterns where the planes come in, like they do a loop-de-loop -loop and then exit the screen. Very um, Galaga-esque um, patterns they have, some of them. But I, uh, he's adding in things uh, bit by bit. The basics are already in place for 7800 version using Xevious as the engine. Yeah, and that's what I was saying. I think somewhere that... You could pretty much convert Xevious to this game <laughs> um, using um, uh, CD-W's uh, Xevious engine for the 2600, which is mind-blowingly good um, engine. It has per-pixel smooth scrolling. It has all the enemies. It has fire both ways. Um, I was actually hoping that CD-W would make 1942 <laughs> or any shooter like just yeah just another port shooter put yeah. over every single shooter using that, <laughs> that engine devious engine yeah. yeah 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 and this is on the plus cart nice. so if you have the plus cart you can uh go to it 
directly and play it without even downloading it. Mm -hmm. So that is our lineup for today. Oh. I knew that. Um, oh, it was pretty quick. But we are doing After Dark. Yes, we are. So, so we're don't gonna run away. Take a short break, and you can listen to some tunes. Some yep. more awesome We've tunes. We've got the paddles ready. <gasps> oh my goodness, this is going to be a challenge. The kaboom ready. Yes. And we're going to be playing uh, Thomas Yench's yes. uh, Sadoom Plus, Sadoom Plus. Okay. which is like the extremely hard version of Kaboom. Oh my gosh. As if you need that. Oh my gosh. Are we playing on the plus card? Uh, or whatever the, yeah. Oh yes, that's right. Uh, yeah, I said I was going to play on the plus card. So mm. we'll play on the plus card for okay. Kaboom okay. so that it registers the scores. Cool. Yeah. Cool, um, cool, cool. So if you don't need to go to bed... Um, you can hang, <laughs> hang around for a little bit yes. with us, I'm trying some to get some our patch old, score. Old school Atari. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, kaboom! I, I, I'm really going to try and get the 3,000. I think yeah. I got 20 Thir something, 2,300 before. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You were, you were, you were inching, inching yeah, up. Yeah, it gets yeah. really hard. It is so hard. Did I clean them to de-jitter them? No, I did not. <laughs> How should I clean them? I do have some, um, WD-40, um... Oh. lubricant that I can mm. your packet has arrived to the shipping service oh. excellent thank mm. you for the update crossbow nice. that way or need is relative should yes need to so um can I use the WD-40 lubricant not not the normal WD-40 but WD-40 lubricant mm. for this like it's um I don't know or is that bad to do mm. anybody have any ideas because okay. I can thoughts, do it thoughts as long as I don't have to take it apart, if I can just spray it in there. I probably can't. I probably have to take it apart. Yeah. So mm. That's not going to happen. These are pretty good, though. Pretty good shape. Yeah. They're not bad. Um, so thanks for hanging out mm -hmm. with us, everyone. You can do it. S. Ramirez, Nostalgic, uh, Crossbow, Carl G. S. Ramirez, I already said that. Atari 800 XL Rules. Thank you for um, subscribing. Too. Yes, thank you for subscribing. Yep. Spiceware. Vitoko, Charles Whelan, Al Nefer, um, Phaser Cat Games, Carl G, Cafe Man, um, Johnny WC, who else? Nathan Strum, thank you for making the graphics for Kicks. Amazing. Um, um, John Champo for making kicks, programming it. Awesome, awesome. job. Yeah. Who else? Phaser Cat Games. Phaser, did you I say? think I said Phaser Cat, Cat Games. And that's a top Ooh. of the list. Best to gut them completely apart. Use some deoxic cleaner um, on the wipers and then alcohol to clean it up again. Okay. Followed by a light coat of oh, dielectric, dielectric grease. grease. Interesting. Hmm. I try to find pots replacements for my paddles in the local market. Now I miss the nut. Oh. The nut that screws them back on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that's not good. You need that. Um, so I won't be degreasing them because <laughs> that'll take too long no. to do all that. Not right now. In the but small maybe, break. Maybe in the future. <laughs> yep. Um, so, yeah. So stay tuned. If you don't need to go to bed, uh, I'm going to let you guys know what's coming up on the show the next few weeks right now let's see so that's today kicks mm -hmm. um on friday we have the exclusive secret world premiere and interview Ooh. of uh with uh lewis hill muddy funster yeah, yeah. in his new 7800 so game. many new games this is so exciting it's a good I think time everyone's of year. ramping up for christmas like I think so let's get some stuff released yep. so people can buy them for their and we're going to be doing an after others yeah. after dark yeah on the next show as well with crazy <laughs> balloon trying to get a oh decent, i like crazy balloon that's a decent a score game. it is a fun, yeah that's fun a really game. fun game it's like a action puzzler type game yep as part of the 2600 high score a showdown mm. after dark, the great paddle <laughs> degreasing yes i can uh, give you a set of paddles to degrease yes and play while you play one. the game yeah could yeah. could mm -hmm. um and then we on the 16th we have an exclusive world premiere of a bunch of games on the 8-bit system mm -hmm. 
of the Anschutz brothers, Eric and Robert, and John Weisgerber with a live interview with them. Nice. We also have another exclusive Secret World premiere with Matt Smith, MK Smith, at some point. That's not scheduled yet. Probably before the end of the year, um, but we will see. Um, and uh, then the Holiday Homebrew Special. Uh, we're going to have a little break in November, the end of November, so I can catch up on some stuff. Mm -hmm. um, or send the paddles out to get some TLC, should you happen to send a console out for tech ah, or so, so. That's true. You keep that in mind. Stuff them in. So yeah, yeah. yeah, what's this extra little, little <laughs> thing? That's right. Shoved in the corner of the box, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's what's coming up on the yeah. show. So, uh, oh, was it published? Let's I thought, see. did John say he was going to publish it after yeah, the show? Yeah, after the show. It okay. may be tomorrow, but I'm, he usually publishes it right after the mm. show. If not... Um, oh, it's changed on the screen. See. Did it? No? Oh. He was going to bed. <laughs> well, let's see. I've got the kicks thread up. That's a bit big. Let's go right to the end, to the last page. Because he may, he may, um, there's my post. Nope. Looks like it's tomorrow for you guys. <laughs> Unless he posted it right at the beginning. Nope. It's tomorrow. <laughs> so everybody can have a good sleep. Yep. And then wake up for their present. Yeah. Their uh, Wednesday present. That's right. Yep. We all need a hump like day the, present. Like yes. the cover I made? Yeah, very of nice. That from one thing from yeah. the arcade, and that from some from the eight bit and release. Is your mind is your only weapon? Like an official. That's an official saying of it, and I typed that in. Slogan yep. of a kick stamp. Yeah, very nice. Um. Yep. Yeah, and then I took that from another place, and it's. Oh, I, see. I mean, that's not part of the. Not the not game, of, but. But I just decided to put it there because it was cool. cool. And somebody said that would make an awesome T-shirt mm -hmm. because it's made up of. The kicks drawing a color yeah. pattern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wouldn't that yeah. be an amazing shirt? That actually would be an amazing shirt. Yeah. I don't know where you, who did you get that from? You just saw it somewhere. It was, oh, DOS version. Mm. There we go. I was just looking for kick stuff. Yeah. Um, yes. Check the attachments. Yeah, there's no attachments Chris there. Cash. So, yep. I'm guessing tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So, something to do tomorrow for you guys. There you go. Um, so we are taking a short 10 minutes or so break. Yep. Refill our waters. Get our stuff and together. And then we're coming back and playing Sedum Plus. Yes. Briefly, because we'll die instantly on it. Like, <laughs> like, is that super we'll, hard kaboom? Is that what it is? Unbelievably hard okay. kaboom. Okay, fair like enough. crazy, crazy. Yeah. Uh, maybe he'll post the demo. But I would think he would post it here first because it's easier just to sense or have link an attachment. It kind of. Yeah. I'll look for you guys. <laughs> Let me check. Uh, no, it's not part of his list. Oh, in development? Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, uh, he's got a page for kicks, screenshots. No. Download the demo ROM, target release. Nope. No, November nope. 2021. Nope. Okay. It's not on there yet. Um, so uh, we will be back very mm -hmm. shortly. So hang in there and see you in about 10, 15 minutes. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.